Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is another Filipino food Friday. For dinner tonight, I will be eating some Jollibee. So I have my drink here, this is just Pepsi. I have gravy for my chicken, and then I got some palabok and two pieces of chicken. So, there is the pancet palabok, and then two pieces of fried chicken. I've never had palabok. I don't think I have. I don't think I've had palabok from Jollibee. I don't remember, but I kind of don't think I have. Maybe I have. I don't know. I have some lemon juice here that I'm going to pour over the palabok. If you've never had palabok before, it's like a different version of pancet. I don't know how to explain it, but it has this sauce on it. And then on top, they usually put like chicharron and then it can um, usually it has shrimp and some hard-boiled eggs I don't think I think this is I don't think this has chicharron on top I, I think it just has like it looks like pork so let me mix this up they don't put that much sauce I like it saucy it looks dry they call this the Palabok Fiesta or something. Oh, there we go. There's the sauce. Okay. You just gotta, it takes a while to mix it up. And there were a couple pieces of shrimp on here. Okay, I don't know. Can you guys see the food? Hold on. I think that's better. I think you can see the food a lot better. Let me move this here. Okay. So let's eat, you guys. Normally when I go to Jollibee, I usually always get spaghetti with chicken. But I did have a couple of requests for palabok, so I changed it up and I got palabok. It's good, but it needs more sauce. But it's good, the flavor is very good. Another thing that I like to get at Jollibee is their chicken adobo rice. It's so good. And the noodles that they use are very thin. I usually like palabok with the thicker noodles, but the thin ones are fine, they taste the same. Or maybe you maybe if it's the thick noodle, I think it's like malabon, like pancet malabon. I don't know. Okay, look at the chicken. I'm making a mess. You have to dip it in the gravy, you guys. It's so good. Mmm. I hear that crunch. So good. I've never tried Jollibee's burgers. Have any of you guys tried their burgers before? I've never tried them. But their chicken is the best. But you have to get like the regular chicken, not the chicken strips. I don't like their chicken strips, they're, they're not that good. Mmm. It's so juicy. So today is actually Friday, I'm filming this on Friday. So happy Friday everyone. What is what are your plans for the weekend? The kids have practice today. Today. The kids have practice tomorrow all day for marching band and color guard. 
So I'll just be here by myself. And I'm thinking of watching a movie. But then, okay, so I was actually gonna like buy my ticket already because I want to watch Hustlers. But then I was thinking about it. Maleficent Part 2 is coming out like in two weeks. So then I was thinking, should I just save my money for that? I don't know. Maybe just watch both. But I'm really excited for Maleficent Part 2. I don't really like the Disney live action movies except for Maleficent. That's like the only one that I really liked. And then the first one was really good. So I'm excited for the second movie. Super excited. Also, you guys, today, I, so we have a small TV in our family room. We never really use it that much because we're never really in there. So I wanted to move the TV to my bedroom because I don't have a TV in there. So I moved it over there. I plugged everything in. But it wouldn't work. Um, I think that the cable outlet uh, it doesn't work. I've never had it. I've never tried putting a TV in there uh, ever since we lived here We never had a TV in our bedroom And I called Comcast And they tried to send a signal and she said it's not it's not picking anything up so it most likely the outlet is broken So she can send, well they said they can send someone out, you know, to repair it, but it costs $70. So, I don't know when I'll get it repaired because I'm not trying to spend $70 right now. <laughs> like I don't need to watch TV in my room that badly. I always save the skin for last, it's so good. Do you guys have TVs in your bedroom? When I was still living like at my parents' house, I always had a TV in my bedroom like ever since I was small but when we moved here when we moved out we didn't have a TV in our room anymore and I, I liked it I like it that way but now I kind of want to have a TV in my room again because it's just nice you know you can lay down and watch TV watch some YouTube or you know This palau book is good. It just needs more sauce. I mean, unless you don't like it saucy, then it's fine. 
Okay guys, I am full. That is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.